Yeah, there. Um, you know, we go back to the old days of uh, Olympic lifting, and and remember there there used to be a military press, and and uh, th- those when you looked at the the old Olympians and those events, they were very different men and women than what we see now. Mm-hmm. Whereas Olympic lifting these days is building the elastic strong man and the elastic strong woman, mm-hmm. um, because of the supreme speed that's required uh, to compete in those events. So, it, it, but I, l- let's just take a very simple example. Uh, you know, throwing a baseball is uh, one example. And, and, and when, you, when you work with some of these people who, they're not very tall, so they might be 5'10 or 5'11 tall, mm-hmm. and uh, they can throw a, a baseball a, a well over 100 miles an hour. And you look at them and you say, well, you don't look like a, a very strong person. Yeah. How can you throw a ball well over 100 miles an hour? And you realize that they're elastic athletes. So the, mm-hmm. the first thing you'll see is their hips turn. Mm-hmm. So there's a, a core hip elasticity. Yeah. They start with their, with their throwing hand and their gloved hand together. And as the hips turn, they open up their chest. So now you see there's an, a second elastic going across peck to peck. Mm-hmm. side to side, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And then the third spring is that beautiful elastic athleticism they have from their elbow down to their fingertips. Mm-hmm. So when you put those three elastics together, perfectly time them with, with not a lot of strength, but with perfectly timed strength pulses, you can throw 100 miles an hour. Nice. So you see you're creating the elastic athlete. Mm-hmm. Now, having said that, um, when I uh, watch people train for, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, dunking a basketball, let's say, mm-hmm. um, or high jump. And then uh, I'll see these high jumpers warming up by uh, stretching out their hamstrings and whatnot. And I'll say, what are you thinking? Mm-hmm. Why are you stretching your hamstrings? Hamstrings, uh, I mean, when you look at the great and measure some of the great leapers in the NBA, they have tight hamstrings. Mm-hmm. They, those are the elastics that they load and then bounce off and potentiate with an extra pulse of muscle. Yeah. Uh, it's the same with, you know, you look at some of the great dominant uh, long-distance runners. Mm-hmm. Well, truth be known, they're kangaroos in that they uh, don't have huge ranges of motion and they just put a little pulse, a muscular pulse on top of the highly tuned elastics that they have in their body. And then you see some uh, other runners who stretch out their hamstrings. So, in other words, they're forced to run on muscle. But who's there at the uh, 23rd mile? Sure. Who's, who's coming into the home stretch? It's the elastic athlete mm-hmm. who conserved their muscles and exploited the uh, storage and recovery in their springs. 